Arabs, Saudis, the people living in Saudi Arabia. I love meeting new cultures, but I've never met people living in Saudi Arabia. What are they actually like? Um. No other way to find out than to Google it. That can't be right. I think I need to find another way. So I booked a ticket and flew to Saudi Arabia. After exploring Jeddah and Medina, this is the story of how I was gifted a box of oranges and got into a sandstorm in Riyadh. Okay, I'm at the airport in Medina, flying to Riyadh right now. People are all lined up. I'm the only foreigner. Let's do this. And we're here. Now I have to find a way into the city. Look at this army of golf carts when you arrive here. It's like tons of them. And behind me, there's more. This guy just told me Metro is not working apparently, it's not built yet. Okay, Metro is under process, that's confirmed. So yeah, there's no other way than taking an Uber. So you see it's all very new here and that's part of the fun here in Saudi Arabia. Okay, we just stopped. I think he's, he's, he's super nice. I think he's buying stuff from me at the market right now. People are so incredibly nice here. All right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yusuf Yandi, here. For me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, sure. This woman, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. I want to talk a second about the people here. I mean, you guys just saw this. My Uber driver literally stopped at the road to get me this box of oranges. And there's so, there's so, there's so many in them. Look at this. This is not the first time this has happened. This has happened numerous times. In fact, pretty much every day that people are so kind and nice and they just want to welcome you and share their country with you. It's actually impossible to pay when you go out. And even if you don't go out, people just give you random stuff. And this is, this is not like a village or something. This is the capital. His argument for giving me those, I can't have them in Germany, so I should definitely have them here. They're really sweet. But how kind are people? I mean, that was my Uber driver. It's just insane. It's literally insane. People are, wow. Now I'm going out, first day in Riyadh. I'm gonna meet someone from Couchsurfing. Let's go. First meeting point, the fortress, 30 minutes away. Arrived at Marmak Fort, it's this beautiful fort in the middle of Old Town. Now it's time to find Moot. That's the guy I'm hanging out this afternoon. And I just got done meeting with Mohammed and Abdurrahman, super, super nice guys. Met them on couch surfing. He showed me around in the old city. Then we drove to the north, had some amazing lunch. Of course, once again, they didn't let me pay. This this country is really amazing. Thank you so much. It's incre it's it's incredible. And now I'm I'm here. Now I'm at the Kingdom Tower. It's a mall. It's office buildings. You can go up there. Check it out. Everything is closed due to prayer time again.
There's this crazy dust in there. I think, I think it's a sandstorm. <laughs> what an amazing Uber ride again. He just said, if I want to have drinks right now, I'm, I'm meeting my friend. Otherwise I would have, but this is the second time today that my Uber driver asked me if I want to grab dinner and drinks with him. It's sand. There's a proper sandstorm. Now I'm at the Ria Park, that's a big mall, and I'm gonna meet Malik. I know from Couchsurfing, <laughs> as the other guys as well. I'm excited. We decided to head back to the boulevard, the place that was closed due to the sandstorm yesterday. It is a cool newly built area where you can find many restaurants, shops, and places to hang out. And they were even hosting the WWE there. What? In the evening, I found myself once again invited to a home. And I'm here in the cab with the best taxi driver in Riyadh, Isra. Thank you so much for driving me. Thank you, thank you. We are stuck in traffic. You see there's cars everywhere. It's, it's red, but we're getting there. And Isra is from Pakistan. Pakistan. Where well, I'm going next, so I'm super excited. I'm getting all the tips. Oh, wow. <laughs> Inshallah. Pisha, I promise you, I'll go there. That's a city. <laughs> how 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 cool are the people here? They're really so nice. The second one yesterday couldn't really speak English so we were communicating with Google Translate and then he invited me to his house. Now unfortunately I have plans but how crazy is that he invited me to his house to have dinner with him? How cool are the people here?